the wall board is actually called Celatex, and it was made, there's actually a plant over by Cody. And it's a semi-insulated wall board, and uh, after the first winter, which is one of the coldest winters that Wyoming has on record, they realized that these barracks were totally insufficient as far as keeping everyone warm, and so they provided, the government provided the wall board. However, they didn't provide any labor or tools to actually install it. So that's something that you would have had to have done. Uh, if you wanted it hanging up in your barrack, then you had to go and actually put that work in. Who paid for it? They did. But I thought they only made 16 bucks a year, um, I mean a month. A month, they did. So their accounts were frozen for the first year that they were in camp. And then they could drop to $100 if there was anything left per month um, following that first year. But the $16 a month stretched, I mean, not as far as we would like it to, but enough that they could order some items. Um, and then there were also items that were ordered by the camp, by the administration. So like the skates or food, and that all would have come in the shipping crates as well. If you didn't use a patch, you had to be shooting that musket right away. You couldn't let it stand for 10 minutes. And in the heat of battle, sometimes they'd find weapons stacked with powder, ball, powder, ball, all the way up. Because guys would have a misfire and they wouldn't even know it. It wouldn't even occur to them. And they were so scared in the heat of battle, they'd just keep loading the weapon over and over. And it wasn't an isolated occurrence. I mean, they literally found hundreds of muskets stacked up in the chamber like that. We've got powder down the barrel. We've got a load down the barrel. I'll pack it. Okay. Now, the trick is we have no ignition system. There's powder in there. There's a bullet in there. It will not fire. What we have here is what they call the flint. It's an actual piece of rock. It's literal flint. And it's just captured in there. That is the lever, okay? This is what they call the frizzen and the pan, okay? We have to charge our pan with powder because what's gonna happen is when the flint comes down, strikes the frizzen, it's gonna create a spark. That spark is going to fall into the pan. The pan will be filled with powder leading into the gun, and then the gun will go off. Have you ever seen the Coyote and Roadrunner where they lead the gunpowder on the same principle? Okay, that weapon is now hot. When I pull the hammer back, it'll be ready to shoot. Now bear in mind, even in the summertime, high humidity would have an effect on this weapon. Here we go.